Hi guys, so I have another video for you today, and this video is going to be a continuation of the Elf vs. Nars series that I have done in the past. The last one I did was the blush and bronzer duo, but I only did the blush orgasm. So now I am going to do the primers, the eye primers from both NARS and Elf. So if you want to see the thoughts I have on both of these products with our little cotton pad that says versus on it, don't don't you think I forgot about it because I didn't, then keep watching. So I'm basically going to compare these two together, tell you which one I'd rather buy. So starting off with the color of the eye primers, this one comes in only white, and this is the NARS one. And this is what it looks like right here. And this one, I believe, comes in white and skin color. I got it in skin color because I didn't know it came in white. But this is it right here. If it doesn't come in white, then that's a difference between them. They both have a doe foot applicator, so they apply easily. But as you can see, the NARS one, the white one on the right it is shorter than the elf one if you were to do this then you could see that the elf one is a lot shorter than the NARS one as well the NARS one is a lot bulkier and bigger and the elf one is kind of slimmer when you look at these side by side you can see that this one as I said was skinnier than this one because it's bulkier which means there is more product in this one and there is less product in this one. Speaking of the price, this one is a dollar from e.l.f. and this one is about 28 or 26 dollars. I am not sure. Don't like pester me if I don't get it right. But I am not sure how much this one is, but I know it's up on the higher end side. Their prices are way different. When you're talking about the texture after you apply it and you blend it out on your hand this one comes out to be more of a silky finish like it's like soft on your eye and this one comes out to more creamy I'm not sure really why creamy will have the eyeshadow stick better to the eye but that's only my preference for the elf one I believe that the packaging is a little sloppy like you could have done something with this you actually it's the elf thing kind of came off it's gold and I just don't think it's very, looks like it's going to like break apart in a few seconds. For the NARS one, this packaging is more sleek, more sophisticated, just a little more adult. And it does not look like it'll fall apart like this one. Now I'm going to say the things that make these like alike, I guess. They both shear out when you blend it on your hand. They both shear they both shear out when you blend it on your hand. The staying power of the eyeshadow is the same exact thing. I've worn this one on this eye and this one on this eye and the eyeshadow just stayed all day long. There was no difference, no creasing, no anything. The intensity of the eyeshadow, we are going to swatch the primers on our hand and take some eyeshadow of the same color and swatch them both on the same parts where we Put the primer and we'll see if there's a difference. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it off camera and then swatch the eyeshadows on top off camera so you can see. So I'll be right back. I'm just going to show you the color that we're going to be using. It's going to be toasted from the Naked One palette. So this is toasted on my hand. This one right here is the NARS one, and this one right here is the ELF one. I don't see much of a difference. Maybe a little more intense on the NARS side, but pretty dupable. As you can see, the intensity of the eyeshadow is exactly the same. You're going to get the same exact color as you put with the NARS one, so maybe that's why people go out and get the ELF one instead of the NARS one, because of the intensity and the staying power. But I still think both of them are equally the same and you could just pick whatever one you want to buy. 
Last thing for both of them, there is no coverage with either of these. They, as I said before, they both shear out and you really don't, if you have like, if you have veins on your eyes, this will not cover, but the eyeshadow or paint pot from MAC, that's a good one. Whatever you're using, it will cover it well and this will keep it on. Another thing about this eye primer, the NARS one, is that it is great for oily eyelids. So for the women and girls out there who have the oily eyelids, this keeps them nice and matte and it, the eyeshadow doesn't like wash off your face or anything and it keeps your eyeliner on good as well. So like I said in my last video, I still think e.l.f. is downgraded version of NARS. They kind of have the same packaging. If you put it up close like this, they both have... They end at the same thing and their little openings are at the same place. It's just I think NARS is just overpriced a little bit and ELF is just, just the right price. So it would depend on if you want to spend and splurge the money on the NARS or you want to go for a dollar on the ELF. They are both the same. They both wear the same, their intensity of their eyeshadow is, is the same as you saw, and it just depends on your preference and whatever you want to buy. In my opinion, I would go for the NARS one just because it's a little more creamy and I think the creaminess would make the eyeshadow stick more to the eye instead of having fallout with this one. I didn't test the fallout, but I'm pretty sure this one might give fallout. This one doesn't. So I would say splurge on it. It's a really good primer for the eye and I love it so much and that's why I'm sharing it with you guys. So I guess I will see you guys later and I'll see you guys in and I'll see you in my next video on Monday. My new filming schedule is Mondays and Fridays, so you'll have a video on those two days. And I'm thinking about doing First Impression Fridays on every other day to show you guys what I haven't used yet from Christmas because I wanted to do the First Impression Friday. So I'll see you guys later, okay? Bye!